uh, the, the there, there were Temple. two. <laughs> there, there's there's two, and I didn't uh, s study the 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 other Buddhism, mm -hmm. which is the the more more um, original type of Buddhism, mm -hmm. um, the, what they call original. Uh, it, it's just a bunch of self help tools, and uh, according to them, the the real Buddha, you, you know, he never he didn't talk much about superstition. He he said when, when he, they asked him, you know, so so what happens after we die? You know, everyone wants to know that. I mean, yeah. do we go on? Do we stop? Do we reincarnate? He says, you know, uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm paraphrasing here, of uh -huh. course. He said, you know, I'm not sure, but I'll tell you what. Most people don't even know how to live this life correctly. Why worry about the next life? <laughs> well, he, well, yeah, why, why do you want to think about that? You know, but, but he, he was honest, you know. He, 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 he did say... I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, why are you asking that, me? According to that sect. <laughs> right, right, yeah, right. That's the, and, and that's just my personal belief as well, too. It's no, like, I get it. There's an honest man right there. Uh, wow. You know, I mean, that, that's... But, the, you know, and, and, and the crazy thing is that those aren't the things that we've ever heard about that stuff. You know, you don't hear that he was like that. And I mean, this is the very first time I've ever heard it the way you're saying. I'm like, original wow. Buddhism, yeah. not that. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's, I always that's amazing. The, the 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 social structure that was created. You know, and now that I'm that I'm thinking about it, it makes sense. You take the teachings of a simple man, and then you start adding your own bits to it to create some sort of hierarchy, some sort of control. Some and sort that's of... how the Bible came about. <laughs> yeah, and then you know, he... it's the worst book in the world yeah. in that sense because people were putting and, and his hey, words. Yes, my <laughs> words. Well, because here's how I think of it, right? No, but that's where I got my teaching. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, the Bible was written by men. I mean, yeah. they try to say it's it's the word of God, but. At that time, who wrote it? Yeah. And then it became whose word? I mean, was he around when God was around, or did 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 somebody take notes and? And say, isn't the Old Testament just the Jewish Bible? Yeah, right. You know, so when you had those kind of books written by man, and and we all know how the clergy is. They they want to sway things to benefit them. That's what the inquir you know, Inquisition, Inquisition was all about, right? Oh, yeah. they, wanted, you know. they were decked out in chains of gold yeah, and I mean, silk robes. What did God need with all that stuff? When we know in Scripture that he was like a humble man, lived with just rag clothes, didn't have any possessions, but yet you're, you're trying to convince, tips. <laughs> you're convincing me that I have to give you half my money to the church mm -hmm. so that, you know, to praise yeah. God. It's like, wait a minute, there's something wrong with that. Sorry, folks. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not... We just lost like half of yeah, exactly. That's okay. I love you guys. Still. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not our Christian. opinion. Our yeah, yeah. opinion. No, it's just my opinion that's because that's how you know. I mean, I, I've seen so many people hurt by yeah. the church. I mean, I, I hey, I love God. I'm, I'm a you know, I, I believe in God. There's a lot of good people in churches. Yeah, yeah. And, but, and intelligent people too. Yeah, but some of the things that I've seen and some of the things that come out of the churches. Well, we're talking about honesty. Or some. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you and have I'm to just, look at the history of things because just yeah. like you were saying earlier. You know the history of violence, of, you know, towards Asian people, and, and that's just Asian people. We're not right. talking about all yeah. the other African minorities Americans that have been. Look what they had to go through for the past how many hundred years? You know, this this was originally our country, right? Like, right. The Mexicans. These yes. people, and yeah. I look Native American most of the time, anyways. But just talking about Asians in, in particular, the violence has been going on for so right. long. Getting dragged over here from China right. to build a damn railroad. I think stereotyping kind of had a big part in in, in oh, kind of yeah. taking away that that perspective, simply because for the longest time, whenever an Asian person was brought up, or the stereotype of Asian people when I was younger, they're smart. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do well in school. You can't compete with the Asians when it comes to scholastics. So why would they be getting attacked? Like that never dawned on me till now. And this man, he's uh, eye-opening. Really, it's a lot of information that, that's coming out. That, uh, it's great information, but like you said, it's that knowledge that we need to. Well, really... let's 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 look at the, the knowledge. And since we're talking about religion, anyways, oh. <laughs> uh, and you know, I'm not Catholic or, or yeah, Christian, right? Uh, but I, I will say that you, uh, the Bible and what Jesus taught, the New Testament, Old Testament, mm -hmm. there's some good stuff in there. Let's oh, yeah. not throw it out completely away. No, and, and that's uh, not what I was trying to do. Uh, what I'm uh, trying to say is some of the things that yeah, some things that were brought up or put into that thing. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of things that were left out of the original stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the whole story about um, who was Adam's first wife. 
is Adam and Eve is all everybody, most people know. Hmm. But he actually had another wife. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, her name was Lilith. Look it up, folks. Mm -hmm. Don't be in the dark, you know. And um, so I know, um, I think was it random. was... Yeah, I think it was Thomas Jefferson uh -huh. who looked at the Bible and he took out all the what he considered superstition, walking on water, yeah. turning uh, water to to wine, those kinds. He took out all that stuff and he just left, I, I guess, the self-help tools in huh, there. Right. And we call it the Jefferson Bible. I have one. No way. And, and so he, he took oh, out all the superstition. Oh, that's what that is. I've heard the term. I just and, never... And, yeah. And, oh. and so, uh, oh, now uh, i got to go look for that book. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Amazon, twelve ninety five. Get yours today. <laughs> And I, I want to uh, bring that, that kind of knowledge into the martial arts as well, too. Like, if I say, oh, I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu, people are going to go, oh, you're a Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy. All of a sudden, there's this wall, and they're, they're putting me yeah. in a box. Oh, I do Muay Thai. Oh, you're a Muay Thai guy. And, you know, I'll tell you what. Knowledge is knowledge, and you can, you can label it whatever you want to label it. Uh, it, it, just like we can label religion or, yeah. or, or, or um, racial groups or Ooh, whatever. Some martial artists yeah. do take it like a religion, though. They're, they're very yeah. territorial. Yes, yes, they are. My kung fu uh, better than your kung fu. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, your you ground know, game sucks. Yeah. And, and, and since we're talking about religion, just like, you know, I believe um, Buddhist self-development tools can be used by everyone and and it, it, it's starting to gain popularity <coughs> mindfulness practice and meditation there's all these apps online about meditation oh apps God, and the corporate world apps. is a buzz when it comes to meditation yeah. they have separate rooms in their yeah. offices for mindfulness mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. absolutely and that's a tool you don't have to be a Buddhist. You don't have to shave your head and, and recite uh, scripture. Now you like tell that. me. Incense. <laughs> but you, you, don't, you can if you want. Okay. And, and that's a tool that you, know, you can take and use. And I think that's the same thing with martial arts too. Uh, people sh shouldn't say, oh, I'm not going to do that because I don't like Brazilians. Or I'm not going to do that because I don't like Filipinos. I don't know. I don't know what they're yeah. thinking. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't like Koreans. I don't uh, want to do that because my knees are bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, you can. I, I believe Practical. <laughs> that um, knowledge sh can, sh can be shared right. and that you can love one thing and still love another thing. You don't right. have to be, I love this, hence I hate that. And I see a lot of that in martial arts and religion too. I yeah. love, I, I'm a Catholic, so I hate Buddhist. But I'm starting I'm to love Buddhist, this guy. But don't so you I think that's Catholics. just being narrow-minded about stuff? I mean, because... Most of the martial arts people that we've met or that we've talked to and that, that we deal with are very accepting of all the other stuff, right? You mean the ones that talk to us? <laughs> yeah, the ones that talk to us. The ones who don't talk to us are talk, the guys you're talking about. I mean, how many martial arts do you know? I mean... You, you know, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't I know. I, you, I know them all. Well, like when, we, when we did research, there was, a, there was a bunch of different things that you do. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I will bring up the list. <laughs> well, I, I'll go through it. I, I, but I, I do want to. I, I do want to touch it. on um, yeah. uh, on and just like I, I think with religion, not one religion has all the answers. Exactly. And all the tools. Thank you for saying that's and, what I'm. And doing. that's just kind of like martial arts. And too. that's exactly and, my point and, of uh, of saying those things because you're right. I mean, who's to say who's right and wrong based on the teachings of whoever? Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, like you said, Confucius had some great stuff. Mm -hmm. Buddhists had some great stuff. Mm -hmm. Why not, like you said, the Jefferson Bible, where he takes off the things that are just come on. This is nobody walks on water, so let's leave that out of it. Mm -hmm. Let's put all the the, the more, useful tools. Yeah, the more useful things that then let's live our life that way because then it, we're we're working with reality, mm -hmm. things that are actual mm -hmm. real things that can be done. Yeah, you know. So um, I'm glad you're saying that. It's eight. Huh? <laughs> he knows eight. eight. Wow. Uh, I'm going to read him off. I'm going to read him off because I, I, this is really cool. This man is amazing, folks. <laughs> oh, you know what? Is this considered one or two? Because it's uh, Taekwondo and American freestyle karate. Yeah, so... Uh, that, so nine. <laughs> that, that system is, um, you know, traditional Taekwondo. Uh -huh. And uh, back in the 70s and 80s, um, you know, the, the 
tournament scene was a big boom in oh, the yes, U.S. Yes. It was Chuck Norris, Benny Urquidez, um, yeah. Bill Wallace, you know, that era. Ooh. Um, and so uh, people came together, Al DeCoscos as well, too. Right. And, Thank um, you for bringing him up. Put together. <laughs> we'll find you out. Legend. Legend. We're trying to right? get to him in Hawaii. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a legend. Hint. Uh, hey, I'll be there in June. And, and um, so people uh, came together and created American freestyle karate based on what they learned through all these competitors out there. Okay. And so they, they put together these, these uh, concepts and theories of sparring and, and uh, pushed it up a, an extra level of what it used to be. And who are they? Mm -hmm. Slap them. Okay. Mary uh, people or? like uh, June Ri, uh, Aldo oh, Costos. Oh, the Ri. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah. it, it's just a hodgepodge. It was yeah. almost like Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do because it was right. like, oh, he does that. Let's go back to the the, the, the school and that. try that. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we heard that because we, we heard that same story with uh, Jukun, um, Kaiju Kempo. Kaiju Kempo. Mm -hmm. And, you oh. know, the five guys. And original karate. Yeah. The, okay, five, guys, karate. the five guys from Hawaii who yeah. decided. Hey, let's mix all these things up. How do Remember, we there's combat? six. We always six, forget yeah. the sixth one. We always forget the sorry guys. But that's the story that we keep hearing. And, and it's amazing how it just isn't an, umbr an umbrella type of system now. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look back at all these things where the Brazilian this guy got this from here, this guy got this from over there, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is if you go further back, it all came from the same place, it seems. Yeah, yeah, uh, or, or, or similar places, for yeah. sure. And sometimes it's okay if it doesn't come from the same place, too, because yeah. two people can have independent ideas far apart from each other. And you, then you they know. become friends at somewhere along the road, and they say, oh, let's do this. Absolutely. And that then creates a whole new system. Mm -hmm. But the reality is we only have two hands, two feet. Yes. What really could we create that hasn't been created before? That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's yeah, the a different way of looking at it. Yeah, so I mean, just to read a few more, he does do Jeet Kune Do, uh, Silat Serak. Is that what it's Yes, yeah, Serak. Okay. And then uh, Kung Tao Silat. The, the Taurus. The Taurus. Oh, okay. So it's not a TH. Ying Lung Sing Kung Fu. Yeah. Uh, new breed Kali. Yeah, new breed Kali. Uh, Muay Thai. Where is that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Let's not skip over the Kali. This is the show is called Kali. Yeah. What's yeah. a new breed Kali? Okay, uh, it, it was created by my teacher Ben Fajardo, and uh, he was also a student of Aldo Costco's. I think he's like sixth or seventh don under it. Uh, wow. Uh, oh. Sigong L. We haven't even gone to his black belt titles yet. Uh, Sorry, go on. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, yeah, it, it's it's his. <clears throat> His uh, expression of Kali. Okay. Uh, th there's so many different um, oh, yeah. systems of Kali. Yeah, and, yeah there's uh, over 40. It's just amazing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and well, still well growing. over 40. Yeah, yeah and, still growing. Uh, <laughs> it, Your brother created one. Yeah, my brother created one. It, 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 is, it is just uh, amazing. And, and he, he learned from... Uh, he his systems were also I think um, Pakiti Terja. Nice. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Um, That's our base. Yeah. Uh, Loosely based. As well as the um, the the Inosanto gland. Right. Yeah. That's what people are calling the Inosanto gland, and, and so uh, uh, just a hodgepodge of stuff, you know. And so uh, it's, yeah, it's, I like this. I like this. Yeah, well, this Simmer you know, and boil. It, it, so it, let me ask you this because you're talking eight different systems or styles that you you play with. And did you complete one, then go to the next, or did you burn them all together at the same time? Or? Oh, I, I usually complete one, then move on to the next. Right. Uh, there are times when I'm learning two at the same time. Right. Uh, but I call myself a uh, martial arts nerd. Man, M-A-N, martial arts. Yeah, I was hoping we were going to get to that. A real man. <laughs> and so all I do is martial arts. That's, yeah. I, I, my, my, my knowledge in life is very limited. And so uh, uh, I just know martial arts. If you I ask love me how about, he said limited. It, it, you know, it, eight it, styles no, and it's limited. Well, well, when we look at the, the totality the, of knowledge, martial arts oh, is a little, right, the, the, okay, little okay. thing. When people, Infinity, remember? Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, when people talk <laughs> about basketball or football, I'm like... No idea. You know, I don't even know the rules and, and the, the is it periods or, or, or quarters or I, I don't know what anything. Not if you play hockey. Yeah, yeah see, I. Yeah. So, so my, my knowledge is very focused. You are a nerd. I, yeah, I'm the total nerd. I, I have no idea on a lot of things. Uh, I'm clueless. I'm very Okay, clueless. then we're just geeks, dude. We're not even, we don't even yeah. reach nerd yet. <laughs> Oh, where where do you think martial arts is going? Because you, you have a pretty good grasp of a lot of the different styles. But because I know from when I was started back in the 70s to where it is now, um, there's so many things that, that have changed 
you know um, yeah you lost the pork chops yeah <laughs> and there, there are things where you, you look at it and says now why did we why did it take this turn <laughs> as opposed to another turn mm -hmm. yeah you know I mean I, I've seen so many different things I remember back in the old days when I was taking Kempo and that was my, my cousin's school uh, Belisos oh wow and um, very structured you know Kempo is very much you know but then you started hearing about all the other systems that come up after it and now because of MMA like you said, hodgepodge of stuff where you had to learn the ground game, a grappling game, you know, a stand up game, and a boxing game. <laughs> and it just became this, this giant, you know, ball of wax. And just, okay, here's martial arts now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's gone to so many iterations, I, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, I, I think wherever it goes, and, and who knows, it's a very fluid and dynamic uh, yeah. subject. <clears throat> Uh, wherever it goes, there's, there's always going to be uh, three concentric rings. If you, you look at like, if the word martial arts and you, you do like a Venn diagram where these rings overlap, mm -hmm. uh, there, there's, there's basically three broad categories right. that will always be in vogue. <clears throat> One broad category is traditional arts. Right. And I would throw Kali into traditional arts because, uh, you, you know, there, there's a lot of culture in it. There's yes. uh, in certain systems. There's okay. there's a lot of uh, formality as well, depending on the system. Yes. And also um, a lot of techniques. Some have have uh, block strikes, block check strikes, and then um, 12, the counter 36, to the counters, and then the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the disarms, and then disarms to the disarms. Yeah. And um, you know it can get really deep in there. And so um, and of course other traditional systems have forms and kata. Um, so there's the traditional arts. Um, a lot of those come from Asia, uh, but not all. And then there's the sport combat too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A and you know Muay Thai. Uh, I would consider boxing. Taekwondo. Uh, taekwondo. Wrestling. Olympic taekwondo. Wrestling. Yeah. Yes. So there's the the sport, and then there's there's the combatives as well too. Uh, uh, the, the thing is, each circle intersects with the other circle. Right. So uh, if you say you're a spark guy, that doesn't mean that you, you ignore tradition you did that. and, no, you, and, and you that. can't fight on the street. You know, if you, if you say you do just com combat or combatives, uh, you know, the, some of that comes from traditional arts. And some of your training, like, like your, your focus mitts and your, your bags and stuff, right. comes from the, the, the combat sports. sports. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so... Uh, uh, what, what, wherever it goes, it'll probably be within one of those circles. So I can see it coming into the combative Dude, area. Dude, we're, we're nowhere in any of those circles. <laughs> uh, well, you're probably in all of those circles. Uh, <laughs> I, I can see it coming into more of the combatives area yeah. where people are, are getting into firearms and, and more tactical training. Right. Uh, you do firearms too, don't you? Yeah, I do. That's, why I, that's where I'm going. Oh. But, uh, 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 but wherever it goes, it'll, it'll be inside those those three circles. Right now, it's it's really in the combat sports, you know, uh, MMA right, 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 yeah. and and. Uh, but but back back in the day, it was more the traditional training. Right. So uh, it, it'll it'll be in there somewhere. So during a zombie apocalypse, can you be my partner? Because <laughs> I know he's gonna tie me down. <laughs> oh no no! no you don't want all me around, as a partner to all around. I would break your knee and use you as bait <laughs> while I get away. <laughs> You see, you I, see am, I am. Mm, mm. <laughs> you, you would need a village. You yeah. would want a village of partners. You know, yeah. someone who, who had good medical knowledge. Oh, there you someone go. Someone yeah, who yeah, had yeah. good survival Ooh, skills. I'm stealing your wife from you after I break your knee. After you feed me to the zombies. Yeah. Exactly. Now, but come with me. Yeah. You would sacrifice yourself for her, oh, right? Oh, yes. So I'll Maybe sacrifice not. you for her. Uh, oh, you're going <laughs> to take this. You don't have to choose. <laughs> let, let me ask you this, um, Conrad. Cause I'm gonna right. I wanted to use his name officially. Um, <laughs> during all this time that you've been training, right? you ever get to a point where it's like, what is it all for? Because I think that's something that everybody asks. A martial artist, if you're a true believer of martial arts. You've been doing it long enough. <laughs> and you've been doing it long enough. Because, I mean, I try to stay out of as many fights as I can. Mm -hmm. But inevitably it happens. But... When you don't fight, and I'm sure you, you've gotten to a few things, maybe, one or two fights. Dude, he's been like, in the ring. Right? Well, he's no, but that's different. Oh, that's, you're talking about, like, actual... Yeah, yeah actual... Uh, I was you know. a bar bouncer for a couple of years. Really? I still don't believe yeah. that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm looking at you, 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 were a, you were a bouncer for two years. I was always the smallest, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So, but he was like, you know, send, send in Conrad. <laughs> Everybody's like, send in Conrad. Yeah, no, no. Big six foot yeah. four guy. Hey, yeah, Conrad, you handle this. <laughs> your, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, no, no. Um, but, you know, yeah, 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 there yeah. were some big dudes I worked with. Yeah. yeah but like, you, three you, times you understand the question, much. though, right? Yeah. And the question is, 
what has it all been for? Uh, okay, so uh, this, is a, yeah. this this is a personal question for everyone. Yeah, and well, uh, uh, he, that's why we're interviewing you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's five reasons I found that people practice martial arts, right? Cool. And and, yeah. and I I gravitate I, I bounce around these five from time to time. You know, sometimes I'm more in this camp or I'm in that camp. So the when we look at the word martial art, mm -hmm. the first word is martial to fight. Combatives, right. <laughs> self-defense, protecting yourself. So, oh, those uh, aren't separate. That's just one. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a category. Okay. Wow, okay. Marshall, that's in its own Marshall. category. Just being able to kick ass, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I will take you out with this thumb. <laughs> the, the martial aspect. And, and I think a lot of times when we're young or uh -huh. we just get into something, that's what we want, yeah. to be able to protect ourselves. Or it maybe stroke our ego. Oh, I kicked his ass today. Or, yeah. or oh, I hit him with a stick or whatever. You know, uh, stroke our ego, uh, the martial part. There's the art part too. So yeah. um, the art is self-expression. Some people train just for self-expression, to, right. to move around. To, and I have to, seen your expressional to, stuff that to, you to posted. To express. Awesome stuff, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. and, and I think <clears throat> it's important to remember to respect everyone's reason. Yeah. Like, I, I get it. The martial guys and girls, they can poo-poo everyone because they can kick everyone's butt, you know? Yeah. They're, they're the alpha males and yeah. females, yeah. And, and, and they're just going to say, guys. oh, that's not going to work on me anyways, or that's not going to work on my group of people. Really? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's my combative side. <laughs> Cheat. And, 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 and yet, you know, it's still important to, to respect other people's right. desires to practice it right. for different reasons. Not everyone <laughs> wants to practice to kick ass. No, right. you said the artistic, the expressive the expression, sense and that's that. fine. You know, right. so when yeah. I watch someone doing an expressive martial art like wushu, or, or oh yeah, you know, tai chi, there's, there's and, kung yeah. fu, or even karenza, right? Yeah. And, and they're they're doing all this, and I do all all these Dude, these and Dude, everything, really floral movements yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do it, and I know I'm not gonna ever hit anyone with this thing. Right. But but it, it works my brain, it works my body. I like to express it. That he way. is the first person that makes that differentiation. Yeah. Ooh, we, we have some qualms when it comes to certain cadenzas because people demonstrate them in a sense of like, this is what I can do. And it's like, no, that's just you moving. It's not necessarily a, yeah. an expression of combat. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's just you, like you said, expressing those movements. Yeah, and, and the artistic people, they need to recognize that too. Like, that, that, that's, that, that's the problem too. Finally! That, that's the problem when the artistic people... 